Hello and welcome to another tutorial by the Free College. Uh, today we're going to be uh, covering the info box on Wikipedia. And just to give you an idea of what an info box really looks like, we're going to type in William Shakespeare and visit his article page. And we'll see that on the right hand side there's a picture of him. On the top it says William Shakespeare. Below it gives some basic information as far as where he was born, die, where he died, his occupation, and so on and so forth. Now, if we visit the, the top right hand corner and the second uh, series of writing, read, view source, and view history, we can click the view source button and as we scroll down we'll see the beginning of the article page. And highlighted right here you'll notice info box writer so all of this information is what this is actually the source of this info box all right so we saw that it said info box writer but there are varieties of info boxes and we're going to go ahead and open another tab we're going to visit google.com and just to give you an idea, we have info box person, which is a very basic info box. And we'll scroll down and we'll notice that where it says blank template with all parameters, just underneath all of this is the source code for, for that information. And on the right hand side is an example where it says honorific prefix name and so forth this is an example of what it will look like when it's complete except this information will be filled in with whatever information you choose to add so we're going to go back to the original page and I'll click the Wikipedia homepage link and uh, just to, just to sh uh, start from the beginning and You'll notice I've logged in on the top right hand corner, the free college, uh, talk, sandbox, preferences, and so forth. We're going to click the sandbox button. And <clears throat> just as a note, this, whatever you do in here, does not affect Wikipedia whatsoever. This is just your workspace. So you can change it, modify it, and do whatever you need to do in here, save it, and nothing will. Uh, do anything to the main page of Wikipedia so don't feel bad about making mistakes or saving it to return to work on these articles later. So we scroll down and we'll notice that there's it says user sandbox edit below this line. We're going to just go ahead and select that and delete it by hitting backspace or delete. And we're going to go back to info box person. And we're going to if you remember, we went to Google, we typed up uh, info box person as the keyword and we came to this template page template info box person so we're gonna scroll down and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this code and highlight it alright we're gonna right click and choose copy we're gonna go back into the previous tab and we're gonna go inside click inside this box we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to paste and we can use this other scroll bar uh, to go up and down this uh, sandbox page and we're just going to change some information we're going to make up somebody just just to give this example so we're going to highlight this delete it and we can just type in a name John Abraham and we'll say his his birth date uh, let's say his birthplace was um, Baltimore, Maryland. Now we're going to scroll down with the other scroll bar and we're going to click show preview. And you'll notice on the right hand side this is this is the work we've done so far. It says his name and where he was born. Now, 
to make it more specific and better for readers, what we're going to do is we're going to revisit this Baltimore, Maryland area, and we're going to put brackets, two brackets, on both sides, and we're going to scroll down again, and we're going to click Show Preview. And you'll notice that it's now blue. And you can right click that and open link in new tab. And you'll notice that when we're f when this is actually finalized, that will be a link to Baltimore, Maryland. All right. So part of working with Wikipedia is uh, knowing little tricks like that in order to improve uh, some of these pages. So he, he might have died in... Um, I don't know, uh, Seattle, Washington, and we'll click show preview, and you'll notice the difference right here, but if we scroll down again and revisit this area that says Seattle, Washington, we put the brackets over there, just like that we can scroll down and click show preview and now you'll see that we have links to both where he was born where he died so there are all sorts of uh, things that you can add let's say he went to um, you know a, a school um, so Brown University, um, but that would obviously go here, and you can drag and drop sometimes. Let's say his occupation was uh, medical doctor. Of course, you want to use terms that you can use later. So, for example, right click and go to copy, maybe open another tab. You can type in wikipedia.org and, and uh, right click and go to paste and hit enter or, or click the arrow and you'll notice that okay that's a valid page that it'll redirect to so now we can uh, go ahead and put brackets around Brown University and medical doctor and um, obviously he's not a you know, you, this is why grammar is important because if you were to, for example, type in uh, he's a doc, and some you'd be surprised how many people don't really know how to use Wikipedia. But you know, I can go to show preview, and um, if I right click doc and go to open a new tab, um, you know, it goes to this you know random page. So. Uh, obviously you have to know what you're talking about and that's why I decided to start the first video with an info box because it helps you to kind of organize your information you can take information from an article page that does not have an info box and fill in this data and then when you're all done you can uh, you know you can click save page and what you'll get is this right here so Assuming we were going to go to a John Abraham page, um, it would obviously, it wouldn't have an info box. We're going to go to select all and then cut. And we'll just say that, you know, there was a John Abraham page. John Abraham was a medical doctor who attended uh, college. Um, and then we had a section uh, to equal signs and said, you know, education. And he said, you know, John Abraham attended Brown University in 1984. Uh, you know, we can go to show preview. And let's just assume that this is what what the page already looked like. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put a couple spaces here. We're going to right click, we're going to go to paste. And now all this info box data is above that information. 
and we're going to click save page or show preview whichever you prefer and you'll see that if the article page looked like this prior it now has an info box um, it also encourages uh, users to be more specific in their data and uh, my recommendation is that you know uh, people who are new to Wikipedia or watching this video should consider filling out uh, finding articles without info boxes and trying to fill them out uh, just so they can get better uh, associated with their data and um, so that's the end of the video